guys, this is driving me nuts. All right, so the fuel economy. About to roll out, boys. Uh, if you guys want a key tag, here's my new ones right here. The B50, or it looks like 850. Kind of my, my logo now. You got the uh, diesel life ones with the American flag on the other side, and you also got the Dirty Max ones with the American flag. I've had these for a long time, and these are probably the best seller. These are more versatile, and if it, of course, if you're a fan of the channel, you get one of these bad boys. They look pretty cool. Same thing on each side. Just kind of a cool design. So if you want those, link is in the description. We are heading out to the Cummins right now. Start the old gal up and uh, I'll explain some things. What is up guys? Uh, we are in the 12 valve right now. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my uh, 97 12 valve Cummins. It's a single cab long bed. We are having some issues with this truck and the old Duramax, which is right there behind me in my yard. Um, this truck, we're having more of a battery issue, which I actually had a battery issue last year with my Duramax. We ended up figuring that out was a uh, glow plug module. It was actually generating more amps than the alternator could put out while I was driving, so that was killing my batteries. I figured that out and that fixed it. So, if you guys have a Duramax and your batteries are dying fast, check out your glow plug module because that thing could be pulling some crazy amps and you guys, and you, you may not even know it because you're probably doing a parasitic draw test. I did multiple parasitic draw tests and they were within average numbers and then, so I was blowing my mind why my battery is dying. I, I got a new alternator, all that stuff, and it still kept happening and uh, glow plug module was the culprit. So, um, But this is not a battery problem with the Duramax. This video is not about the Duramax as far as battery goes. All right guys, we are en route back to Florida. See the motor over the mirror. Boom. Got a Buey right here. We are rolling. Guys, this is driving me nuts. All right, so the fuel economy, ignore that. Passenger door jar. You can hear the damn Amp steps slamming up and down right now. It keeps unlocking and locking my, the truck. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's this stupid ass thing right here. It keeps unlocking and locking. I've been messing with it, doesn't do anything. I think I need, I think I need a new one. Um, if any, any of you guys know what, what the issue is, definitely let me know, this is a pain in the ass. I'm trying to drive home. And it's, look at this, non-stop, lock, unlock, lock, unlock, lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Amp step up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So I gotta, I'm gotta, i gonna disconnect the amp steps, maybe even disconnect the damn uh, door locks and just do them manually. I don't know if it'll let me do that or not, we'll see. But this is a pain in the ass, so. All right guys, so update. We got an update for you with the old uh, door situation. Um, I actually stopped at like a little rest area and I pulled the panel, I pulled the switch off, uh, I pulled the switch apart and it was a connection internally that was that was loose, so I had to redo all the pins on it. And I didn't I didn't solder it. And I should have soldered it. I guess I'll solder it when I get back home. Um, but some of the prongs weren't touching where they needed to touch, and so I bent them and kind of made them to where they would touch. And I think that's what I think that's what's going to fix it. So far, so good. But of course. It'll probably, end up, it'll probably happen here soon now that I'm talking uh, good about it but I think we fixed it so far it's been about, we've gone about 50 miles since then, since I fixed it and uh, well I keep saying fix it, since I uh, tried to fix it and so far so good so hopefully it stays but that was super annoying, I disconnected my amp steps because uh, hearing that thing go up and down up and down up and down is kind of a pain rolling over the Mackinac Bridge. Mackinac Bridge is what it's, how it's spelled. But we are going from the UP of Michigan to the lower peninsula of Michigan. So it is really windy right now. Really windy. You can see the white caps. So, all right, a little update for you. My parents. My parents just passed me in the motor home. That sucker is loud. I will tell you. It's a big, I think a 10.8 liter Cummins, and it's basically straight piped. I mean, I, I mean, it's it's got a muffler, but it's a straight through muffler. It sounds really nice, though, to be honest. It really does sound nice. Um, we're waiting. We're about, about to head to a rest area here in a little bit. Yeah, 
caterpillar checking it over i feel uh out of place here the big trailer um it's kind of awkward going into regular pumps over here it's a little too crowded so i, I like to do use these bit you know actual semi pumps here a little bit easier to get in and out of um and i don't take up much time being that this truck has a tiny ass tank so if you guys have dealt with any of this stuff and you guys have a, an easy fix or whatever you guys did to fix it please let me know in the comments it's not just for me it's for everyone that's wanting to know maybe some people are going through the same thing with their vehicles and can't figure it out not a super exciting video guys I understand that but i have some unbelievable ideas <laughs> Uh, Horn is actually still in the trailer. It's like up in front of the Maverick in there. I've been given some pretty solid ideas on I, on stuff to do with the Horn. I'm actually gonna be rewiring that motor for the Horn, hooking it up to 240, and we're gonna be running it as it should run. But also, we're gonna be hooking up to more exhaust. Be on the lookout for those videos, guys. I know this is not a, a crazy, amazing video. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna clickbait you. Uh, some people were saying I was clickbait with the Horn. There's nothing about it that was clickbait. The, the title of those, those videos were identical to what the video was about. Yeah, that's where we're at. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give this a like. If you're new to the channel, you like Duramax stuff, Cummins, car stuff. Here's my, it's my uh, 2010 Corvette ZR1. And my garage looks like a hoarder lives in it. It's gonna be, which is I'm about to go out there right now and work on it. So uh, yeah, all right guys, I got one more thing for you. I wanna show you guys something that's pretty cool. Now normally I won't do these kind of reviews unless I, I believe in it and I, I believe it could help one of you guys. And here's what it is. This is a portable power station by uh, Jackery. So you got your 12 volt DC, three USB ports, and you got the uh, 110 outlet there. And then you can charge this thing in three ways. Wall outlet, plugs in right here. The 12 volt DC still plugs in right there, but obviously you can charge it in your car or a 100 watt solar panel, which comes with it. It's in the house right now. You plug that in as well. Now the solar panel takes a while to charge, but if you want to keep it in a trailer, it's perfect. It's pretty strong. It's actually pretty big. I mean, I uh, run this light here, these work lights. Let's see here. Plug it in, both on. Now it tells you how much output it's putting out to run these. Showing, all right, showing 69 watts to run this. Well, I don't know why it's 69 must be programmed for that yeah so it's pretty handy to keep on hand guys charge your cell phone whatever power goes out you got backup you know without having to use a gas generator this thing can get you through the night um, probably charge a laptop multiple times uh, probably charge your phone probably hundreds of times and i'm not telling you guys to go buy one right now i'm not getting paid to say that i just thought it was a really cool thing to keep around the house and have ready to go in an emergency situation so I will put the link to this in the description if you guys want to go check it out. Not very expensive considering what it is. So, uh, yeah, go check it out. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh.